an introduction to molecules. Molecules are collections of atoms that are tightly bound together in a well-defined composition and structure. A molecule is the smallest amount of a pure substance that can exist. The shape of the molecule is determined by the structure, and the shape itself has a lot of influence on most of the properties of the substance. Here we see an array of molecules with dramatically different shapes, and these uh, have very different properties. But don't think that molecules are static. They move around, they wiggle, they jiggle, they twist, they fold, they bend. They do this all extremely quickly. This video you're seeing here, all of it takes place within about 10 nanoseconds. Or rather, the motions you're seeing here have been slowed down about a billion fold. In addition to the atomic structure, the positions of the atoms within the molecule, and how they're connected, we can also think about the electronic structure. Electrons are found around each of the nuclei and in the bonds. The places electrons can be are called orbitals. The shapes, positions, and orientations of the orbitals, as well as the energy of each orbital, is determined by the interaction of all of the electrons and the nuclei in the molecule. This is a lot harder to visualize than the molecular structure in atomic terms, but often is more informative than just looking at the atomic structure. Much of the chemistry of molecules, like that of atoms, involves the highest energy electrons, the most easily removed, and the empty orbitals that can most easily accommodate new electrons. We can see here some representations of molecules with electronic orbitals represented uh, around the atomic structure. On the very left, we see a conjugated system, a long linear molecule, and it shows both uh, two orbitals, one called the HOMO, the highest occupied molecular orbital, and one called the LUMO, the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. And these are the orbitals that we talk about doing most of the chemistry. Molecules are very, very, very small. Individual atoms, as you can see on the periodic table, have masses between 1 and 200 atomic mass units, or AMU. A person, compared to a single atomic mass unit, is about the same proportion as the whole planet Earth compared to that same person. So, people are to the Earth as molecules are to people, roughly. Because they're so small, we need to talk about them using very, very large numbers. Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, is the number of molecules in a mole. Just like 2 is a pair, 12 is a dozen, 144 is a gross, and 10,000 is a myriad, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd is a mole. Now, this number was chosen for convenience. If one single molecule weighs 2,578 AMU, then one mole of these molecules weighs 2,578 grams. The lightest, or smallest molecule, dihydrogen, has a mass of 2 AMU. But there are also very large molecules, like hemoglobin, with a mass over 65,000 AMU. But most molecules are between 100 and 1,000. And here we see a collection of molecules that fall mostly in that range. Again, you can see a wide range of molecular shape and structure. And these are reflected uh, in the properties of and chemical reactivities of these molecules.